Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. The mini space videograph is taking a long time to warm up, Minotaur, but then it is a long way to work. I'm well aware of that, Minotran. 632 light years, two light months, and one light day to be precise. Another oxygen pill, quick. I can't breathe. Oxygen pill. Oh, I almost forgot. It's time to give the Earth Savage another oxygen pill. We don't want him to die before his fellow savages arrive, do we? And don't let it float away this time, Earth Savage. Now hear this. Now hear this. There we are, the MSV picture. This is Commander Zero. This is Commander Zero. New Earth Space Immigration Party, prepare to board Mayflower 3. Take off in one zero minutes. Good luck, everyone. Not a bad picture. Not bad. But you know, I find Space City pathetically primitive. But the Earth savages will make useful slaves for we lily spatians. All we have to do is to sit back and wait for them to fall into our trap. It won't be long now. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be long now. And we shall be on our way to join Ross to start a new era in space history. The founding of New Earth. It's the greatest adventure since the Pilgrim Fathers way back in ancient history. According to Ross's reports, it's a great planet. I wish you were coming with us, Steve. Hey, so do I. I'm not entirely sure that I approve of a space expedition led by a woman. <laughs> Don't worry, Professor. Venus has got you and Robert to rely on. Besides, don't let that pretty face fool you. She's got brains. I wish Jock thought so. That'll be Jock. His ears must be burning. I don't know about my ears burning, but I'll go up in blue smoke soon if the hydrocrane operator doesn't pull his socks up. How much have you still got a load, Jock? Just one more piece of the at machine. It should be perfectly simple, but this hydrocrane operator... Oh, he's almost as bad as a woman. There, what did I tell you, Professor? Yeah, I see what you mean, Venus, but he's real upset. He treats that hat machine just like a baby. Just as well. Without it, we'd never be able to colonize New Earth at all. There just wouldn't be enough oxygen pills for everyone. Such a beautiful planet, rich in everything except the air we breathe. And, uh... Very low gravity, too. Remember. No problem. As soon as the Atma plant is going, it won't take long to get a gravity densification project going. Meanwhile, mind you keep your lead boots on. Oh, my feet are killing me already. 
Well, there goes the last component of the art machine now. Easy, man. Easy. Keep her steady. Now you keep her like that and you'll be okay. Suffering space cats, you blithering idiot. That's done it. The dynamo stuck in the hatchway. I'd better get down there to lend a hand before Jock goes into orbit. <laughs> I haven't laughed so much since the Martian Circus came to Lilith's page. <laughs> A woman couldn't have done worse. Oh, Colonel Zodiac, thank goodness. Did you ever see such a mess? And we were due to take off ages ago. Don't worry, Jock. I think I've got the answer. Here, catch. I'm going to see if I can't haul it out on my jetmobile. Do you think it'll work? It's worth a try. Okay, Colonel. Right. Here goes. He's not going to make it. Oh, I nearly came off that time. Ah, oh, well done, Colonel. A good opportunity to get that robot to do that little job for us. The microwave transmitter controller is tuned in. Commence control transmission. MTC active. Watch what you're doing with that valuable object. Take it carefully. Look, don't be as careless with my haggis as you were with a machinery. A haggis? Jock, what do you want a haggis on board for? You don't think I'd arrive on a new planet without a haggis, do you? It's our national Scottish dish. Oh, you can eat the stuff. I'll never know. Well, I'd better get back and call up Ross at New Earth. No doubt they'll be calling our prisoner on the space radio soon. We'd better switch on the auto-imitator. Are you tuned to Ross's frequency? Yes, min old friend. All is ready. What are you going to do? We are going to produce your voice electronically, and no one will know the difference. Mayflower 3, stand by for takeoff once again. Steve's just calling up Ross to make sure everything's OK his end. Then it's all yours, Venus. Thank you, Commander. Space City to Ross on New Earth. Space City to Ross on New Earth. Over. Space Lieutenant Ross to Space City. Space Lieutenant Ross to Space City. Receiving you Strength Alpha. Over. Steve here, Ross. Mayflower ready for takeoff. Is everything OK, your end? Everything's fine, Steve. It's a wonderful planet, this new Earth. All prepared for Mayflower's arrival. Can't wait to see those happy, smiling Earth faces. You tell Jock there's even Heather growing here. Over. Okay, Ross. Maintain contact. Out. Did you hear that, Jock? I'll believe that when I see it for myself. 
Clear for takeoff. All systems here are at go. Roger. All systems go. Full power. Go, go, go. Next stop, New Earth. Generators 2, Reactors 3. Oh dear. I don't feel so good. Still, what can you expect with a woman driver? Oh. Oh. oh my stomach's not so good. Eh, where will I? Better see if we're on the right course. <laughs> Jumping space fish. What is it? Hmm. Any sort of a cushion. What are you doing with my haggis? What is your haggis doing on my chair? My haggis on your chair? Well, I don't know. Oh. <gasps> Say, say, uh, a jock. What's the matter? Uh, what well, is he serious? I must get Venus right away. <laughs> Some rare sort of disease, I suppose. No, Professor. Very common. A simple case of acute appendicitis. <sighs> He's in a pretty bad way, Professor. He should be operated on immediately. Yeah, there's, there's no time to get him back to Earth. I doubt whether he'd make it. We'll have to perform an emergency operation. Just tell me what I can do to help Venus. First of all, I shall need something to kill the pain. In my laboratory, in the medicine chest, where the oxygen fields are kept, you'll see some anesthesia tablets. I'll get them right away. Well, Jock, I'm afraid you're really at the mercy of a woman now. Well, if it had to be a woman, I'm glad it was you, Venus. I mean, Dr. Venus. No, now, you old duty, behave yourself. Now, Jock, I'm going to give you a pill. Put me out, you mean? That's what she thinks. <laughs> uh, they'll try to call Space City in a moment when they discover that the drug cabinet has been cleared. I'll be the transmitter jabber on Space City so that all contact is cut off. You better prepare the auto imitator to copy Steve Zodiac's voice. <laughs> Empty. Everything's gone. It, it, this is crazy. Robert. Robert. Professor, port the cattle on. Robert. Not now, 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 not now, Lizune. No time for fun and games now. Everything go okay? Preliminary tests seem to be okay. Any news from Venus? We're just about to give them a routine call. Stick around and you can have a word with her. Space City to Mayflower 3. Space City to Mayflower 3. Over. What do you mean there aren't any? I tell you, Venus, the drug cabinet is completely empty. But the oxygen fields... Gone too. Every one of them. Sabotage? What else? Get back to the main control cabin, Professor, and call up Steve as quickly as you can. He'll know what to do. I must stay with Jock. Right away, Venus. Oh, the pain is terrible, Doctor. Space City to Mayflower 3. Come in, please. Over. Are you sure you're on the correct frequency? Sure, Steve. It was all preset before takeoff. And somebody is jamming. But who or why? That, with your permission, Commander, is exactly what I'm going to find out. Mayflower 3 to Space City. 
Mayflower 3 to Space City. Space City to Mayflower 3. Space City to Mayflower 3. Steve here. Over. Oh, it's a, it's a relief to hear your voice, Steve. I've been trying to get through for a long time. Uh, I think we'll have to return to base. Jock has to have an emergency operation. And someone's stolen our drugs. Don't be a tootie, Professor. You're more than three quarters of the way to New Earth. Carry on, and I'll bring you all you need in Fireball. I'll easily overtake you. Now, what is necessary for the operation? Keep trying, Lieutenant 90. You may get through. Space City to Mayflower 3. There goes Steve. Uh, Steve, most important of all, bring some oxygen pills. Our entire supply is missing. Leave it to me, Professor. I'll see you on New Earth. Over and out. Well, that certainly fooled the learned Professor. What a surprise they'll get when they realize it was never Steve Zodiac's voice at all. We will allow the beautiful Earth Woman to operate when they arrive. We have all the necessary supplies here. It will be yet another slave for us. We need all the labor we can get to develop this planet, and their primitive machinery will be quite useful, too. <laughs> Thank goodness Steve is coming. Do you, do you think Jock is, uh, is going to make it? Keep your fingers crossed. I, I, isn't there anything more... Uh, Practical, I can do. Yes, you can use your ingenuity to set up the laboratory as an operating theater. Leave it to me, Venus. Any news from Mayflower, Commander? No, Steve. The frequency is still jammed. They should be almost there. I shouldn't be too far behind them if it's not too late already. Eh, <laughs> there. Well, I, I hope it'll do. Now, I hope I've remembered to lash everything down. It's going to be a tricky business, performing an operation in New Earth's low gravity. Better get your lead boots on, Professor. We're approaching New Earth. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm wearing them, Venus. Boy, are they killing me? Uh, how's Jock? Pretty bad. I've left Robert with him, with orders to guard him, in case he tries to get up. He's delirious, I'm afraid. I sure will be glad to see Steve. Where's Steve? He said he would be here. No sign of him. But uh, there appears to be some sort of minute building over there. Welcome to New Earth. The little Spatians welcome you to a life of idyllic slavery. <laughs> The Lily Spatians. The most powerful and most evil brains in the universe. Before we put you to work, we're going to allow you to operate on your sickly Earth friend. But do not try any childish tricks. The Earthman Roth is our prisoner, and we hold the vital supply of oxygen tablets. Oh, if only Steve were here, he'd know what to do. What about Robert? He doesn't need oxygen. Your robot will not be able to help you. We have control of him. We ordered him to dispose of your oxygen pills, and he obeyed. If you want to save the life of your miserable Earthman, proceed immediately with the operation. Do not attempt to leave the spaceship, or your friend Ross will die. The little spatians, so that's it. The little men who fear nothing. Wait a minute, though, there is something. Yeah, that's it.
scalpel. Scalpel. Swab. Swab. <laughs> Most entertaining. She a butcher. <laughs> Done, Professor Matic. I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, hey, don't mention it, Venus. It's a whole part of the service. Well, Earth Slave, you'd better get a good night's rest. You're going to need it. <laughs> that awful voice. It's so weird. Oh, if only Steve would come. All right. We can switch off the mini space videograph. They can't leave the spaceship without oxygen pills, so there's nothing they can do. Come on, Lazo. Let's go hunting, huh? <laughs> Okay, Lazoon, go get him. Good riddance, Lazoon. The space monster. Oh, we'll do anything you say, Earthman. But please, call the creature off. Welcome home. Oh, oh. This one talks. I can't stand that they just scare me to death. I'll take over now. Good boy. That's right, Commander Zero. Ross is on his way back in Mayflower 3 with our prisoners to pick up fresh supplies. See you in a few days. Over and out. Okay, Robert, take over. I'm going to join the others in the lounge. Well, how are you feeling, Jock? Well, he sure looks fine, Venus. I can see you've done a good job on your patient, Dr. Venus. Well, you haven't done so badly yourself, Colonel Zodiac. Well, when you two have finished complimenting each other, can the patient say a word or two? I guess we've hardly no choice. Well, in view of events as they've turned out, uh, I think we should have a wee celebration. So I've decided to share my haggis with a lot of you. <laughs> I thought you said a celebration, Jock. That's more like a punishment. Now, now, Steve, don't be so ungrateful. I, uh, I hate to tell you folks, but someone has beaten us to it. <laughs> well, that just about completes my run of bad luck. Still, I'll say one thing for that lazoon of yours, Venus. <laughs> He's certainly got good taste. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together. Of the sky, my 
heart would be a fireball A fireball Every time I gazed into your starry eyes We'd take the path to Jupiter And maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball Cause 